Yes, welcome. Today we are going to be learning physics. Today we are going to be learning what? Physics. Physics. Today we are going to be learning physics. What is physics? Physics is a pure science. Physics is a pure science that deals with the behavior of matter and energy. That deals with the behavior of what? Matter and energy. And their relationship with other physical properties. Is that clear? Yes. So physics is a physic pure word science. science. Pure word science. science that deals with the behavior of matter and energy, energy. and how it relates with other Prop physical Prop properties. Physics is a pure science that deals with the behavior of what matter and energy and how it relates with other physical properties. So physics is a pure science that deals with the behavior of matter and energy and how it relates to other physical properties. Or you can say how they relate to other physical properties of the matter. Isn't it? Yes, sir. There are some things that happen in the world and you say physics helps explain. So what are the examples of physics in nature? Right. Examples of physics that right. we witness every day. Right. Number one is what? Right. Driving. Driving. The process of driving a car can be explained using what? Mm. Physics. Number two? Right. Lightning. The lightning that comes around before thunder. You understand? The lightning that comes around before thunder can be explained using what? Physics. Number three. The working of a thermometer. Thermometer. The working of a thermometer. How the thermometer works. You understand? At high temperature, you see the fluid in the thermometer moving up. So those movements. The, the motion can be explained using what? Physics. What other thing? Camera. Uh, camera. Camera. The working of a camera. The working of a camera. So you can see that in our line of learning in physics, we'll be able to explain all these things. All these things fall in one aspect of physics or the other. So physics is a pure science that deals with the behavior of matter and how it relates to the other physical properties. And things like this that will happen in an everyday living, like driving, lightning, thermometer, and camera, could all be explained using what? Physics. Using what? Now we are going to look at measure what? Measurement. Measurement is a very important aspect of physics. Because physics works with quantities. Physics works with what? Quantities. So all these quantities, you need to know their size. If you want to explain their behavior, you need to know their size, isn't it? If you say that something is very hot, how hot can that thing be? A boiling water that is very hot, can you use it to make tea? But you can use the one that is mildly hot, isn't it? You can easily drink that one. So how do you know that the one that is mildly hot is not as hot as the one that is boiling? How do you know? Through what? Through what? You need to measure so that you know that this one is hotter than this one. That's how you can explain the properties of uh, things or quantities need to measure to know the difference. Water that is cold and the one that is ice dumped, two of them are not the same uh, temperature, isn't it? So how do you know, how do you measure? measure? If you are measuring temperature, you use thermometer, isn't it? 
so you can measure every other thing. So what do you measure? You measure quantities. What do you measure? You measure what? Quantities. Quantities. You measure quantities. So this quantity can be length, it can be weight, it can be time, it can be any other thing. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. So we have two major quantities. Two major quantities. Physical quantities are measured to ascertain their size. Physical quantities are what measured to ascertain their size. You need to measure them. And there are two types of quantities. In physics, we have two types of quantities. In physics, we have how many types of quantities? Two, two types. types. We have number one, called the what? Fundamental, Fundamental physical quantities. You understand? Fundamental physical quantities. Then number two, we have the what? Derived physical, Derived physical quantities. So these are the two types of quantities we have in physics. Fundamental physical quantities and what derived physical quantities. Fundamental physical quantities and derived physical quantities. So these fundamental physical quantities are the basic what quantities. With what basic units. So they are basic quantities with basic units. So the three major examples of fundamental quantities are length, mass, mass and what? Time. Time. The three fundament major quantities, fundamental quantities are what? Length, mass and what? Time. Length, mass and what? Time. So length is represented as L, isn't it? Yes. And it is measured in what? Seconds. Is it? Yes, sir. Mass is measured, is represented at what? M. And it's measured in what? Mass. Measured in what? Kg. Kilogram. Time is represented as T. And it's measured in uh, seconds. 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 This one is a length, is actually measured in what? Meters. M. Isn't it? So these are the three main fundamental quantities. Length is measure of distance from position A to what B. This distance. That's length. Mass is a measure of the total quantity of matter in a substance, isn't it? Whereas time is the measure of what? Duration. Time is the measure of what? Duration. So the three fundamental quantities in physics are length, mass, and what? Time. time. Length, mass, and what? Time. time. But there are other fundamental quantities. What are the other fundamental quantities that we have? Apart from length, mass, and time. Force. No. There are other fundamental quantities. Take your notes. Electric current. Good. Electric current. Luminosity. Electric current is also fundamental quantity. Another one is what? Luminous density. Luminous density. Luminous density is another fundamental quantity. Another one is what? Amount of substance. Amount of substance. Amount of substance. Amount of substance, which is mole, right? yes. so it's another uh, fundamental quantity. What other fundamental quantity? Thermodynamic. Thermodynamics temperature. Thermodynamic temperature is another word, physical, uh, fundamental physical quantity. So we can say that the fundamental physical quantities are what? Length, right? yes. mass, time. Back. Current, isn't it? Yeah. Temperature, luminous density, and uh, and what? Amount of substance, mole. Mm. Yeah. 
Do you understand? Those are the fundamental quantities. They are not gotten from other quantities. Unlike the derived quantity. So we have two types of quantities in physics, fundamental quantities and what? Derived quantities. So what are derived quantities? These are quantities obtained by combining two or more fundamental quantities by multiplication or division. Is that clear? So what are the right quantities? The right quantities are actually gotten from fundamental quantities. You understand? The right quantities are quantities obtained by combining two or more fundamental quantities by multiplication or what? Division. The right quantities are those quantities that are obtained by combining two or more fundamental quantities by multiplication or what? Division. So we are going to go into details of what the right quantities are. We are going to go into details of what the right quantities are. So we say the right quantity is it? What is the next column? Definition. Definition of the derived quantity. What is the next column? Definition. Basic interpretation. So who can give me an example of a derived quantity? Velocity. Huh? Velocity. Velocity. What is the definition of velocity? Is what? Displacement over what? Time. So you see, velocity is derived from two fundamental quantities of displacement and time. This displacement is certain at distance, isn't it? And it's represented with what? L. Time is the same thing as time and it's represented with what? T. So you can see that these two fundamental quantities, L over T, combined using what division makes a what derived quantity. Can you see? Yeah. So derived quantities are not from fundamental quantities that are combined by either division or what multiplication. Another example of derived quantity is area. And area simply means distance times distance, isn't it? Yeah. Or length times what width. Length times width, that is area, isn't it? And length here is distance L. Width is also distance what? L. Which is the same thing as L what? Square. So this is a derived quantity, isn't it? So give me another example of derived quantity from there. Acceleration. Acceleration. Acceleration is another example of derived acceler. Acceleration. I hope I got the spelling. Acceleration. Is it correct? Yeah. Acceleration. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So what is acceleration? Acceleration is what? Increase in velocity over time. Increase in velocity over time. time. Or you can say velocity. Change in velocity over time. You understand? Yeah. And velocity, as we know, is already L over what? Time. L over T. Isn't it? Yeah. So divided by another word, yeah. T. Isn't it? So this will give us what? L all over T squared. Yeah. Is that clear? Yeah. So you see, this is a combination of basic quantities giving us a what? Fundamental quantity acceleration. What other example of the right quantity do we have? Work. Hmm? Work. Work. I want us to go gradually from line to work. Force. Force. Force is another direct quantity. So what is force? What is the definition of force? Mass times acceleration. Mass times what? Acceleration. Acceleration. Is it? Yeah. Good. 
So if we are interpreting in terms of dimensions, we have mass per m times acceleration is what? L over what? T what? Square. Is it not this acceleration? So making this to be what? M L over what? T square. So this is the right quantity, acceleration. What other the right quantity do we have? Work. So what's the definition of work? Force times distance. Force times what? Distance. Distance. You can see that one derived quantity is almost flowing from the other one, isn't it? Yes. Using their combinations. So what is force? We already know that force is M L over what? T squared. T squared. Already. So times what? Distance which is what? L. L. Giving us what? M L squared all over T squared. Isn't it? Yes. Which other direct quantity do we have? Energy. Energy. Which is the same thing as work. That's speed. Which other one? Speed. Speed is similar to velocity, isn't it? Yes. If we have speed here, yeah. what, what would be the definition of speed? Speed is what? Distance over time. Which is also the same thing as L over what? T. It's just that the difference between velocity and speed is that while velocity is a what? Vector quantity. Speed is a what? Scalar quantity. So velocity is displacement, which is movement in a specific direction. You understand? So this one has direction, whereas this one does not have direction. So vector quantities are those quantities that have both magnitude and what? Yeah. Direction. Whereas scalar quantities are those quantities that have magnitude but no what? Direction. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. So we'll stop this and we'll do further things later.